Hello, good evening. I'm Jan Pha Thad Buton. Welcome to my show, English in the Garden. I'm not in my garden this evening. As you know, I am in my library and it's actually uh, raining outside. Uh, as usual, the aim of the show is to um, give you some tips, some strategies, you know, to share with you my personal experience in learning and teaching the English language. I'm Jan Pa Thakputon. I'm a professional English language teacher teaching at a university in Bangkok, Thailand. And this evening, as usual, I have fresh new ideas, I hope, to share with you. And the idea is these two words is you know constructed in these two words rejuvenate as a verb repeat after me rejuvenate yeah rejuvenate means to bring power vitality you know the the energy to to something to yourself like um, uh, fresh air and uh, beautiful scenery can rejuvenate you everybody every now and then we want to breathe fresh air we want to enjoy uh, the you know the beautiful scenery uh, it can uh, give us the the rigor the rigor mean the, the the power or the strength the language learning or the english language is such a thing you need to like my like me myself you know um, as a teacher Every now and then, occasionally, I have to uh, develop or enrich, now, to enrich, to make something uh, meaningful, to enrich something, to improve, or to make it even better. Rejuvenate my English or enrich your English language is something that's very important for you, especially if you are English language teachers, you may be native speakers or non-native speakers of the English language like me. Uh, if you don't do it, what happens is that the language that you are using will, you know, will stagnate. You know, will will be, you know, I would say rusty. It will not be fresh and creative. You get stuck in your you know cuckoo land uh, you don't have fresh new ideas you don't have anything new to put into your life your i mean your wisdom your intellectual capacity so you can do that by uh, joining uh, seminar international seminars for example uh, joining a workshop, you know, you can travel, meet new people, uh, listen to different opinions, now listen to different stories, techniques, learn something new, and notice and experiment uh, different ways of perceiving, perceiving or describing the world. Uh, like maybe some of you are learning this word, rejuvenating rejuvenate for the first time so this is something that very important if you are an English language teacher is to uh, revitalize you know revitalize your energy your power as a language teacher if you don't do anything you just um, keep the status quo you know don't uh, try out something new and uh, Stop challenging yourself. You are, you know, I mean, it's not good for us anyway. As English lang language teachers, we know that uh, we need. Sometimes you need time off. You know, you need to allocate self development um, opportunities or self development time. Uh, get uh, get away from your routine. You know. Yeah, your routine night activities. Uh, try something 
uh, new like go hiking and learning how to write uh, poems in the English language like haiku poems uh, do some you know some uh, what we call new activities you know uh, take uh, a trip join a conference uh, you know giving a paper chatting with uh, uh, new friends you know uh, making new connections so these are uh, what we call essential I would say necessary for professional development uh, especially if you are uh, you know new teachers if you are new in the field it's really important to uh, go out and then uh, experience the world and then you know cultivate the wisdom is important if you are a language learner it is important to you know to try something new to get out of your uh, everyday uh, routines I'm not saying that routines are um, are bad or anything routines are necessary but routines uh, routinized activity or routinized tasks I mean if you are a receptionist for example sitting uh, behind the counter using the same language patterns you know excuse me sir excuse me madam what can I do for you it's good you know you can communicate within the uh, the narrow scope of your functions but that is not enough uh, our body our intellectual capacity our self as a person we need more than just uh, what we call uh, routinized capacity we need to uh, what we call we need to enhance our capacity to better ourselves and this is very important because this is something that uh, makes a human and everybody has the right to self-development in uh, the orientation or in the directions uh, that suitable more suitable for you know for him or her for themselves I'm Jan Thathat Puthorn. I'm talking to you about the need to develop yourself, develop your English language. If you stay where you are for too long, um, everything will be lusty. You will, you know, you will be very, very dull. Your language will be mundane, will be a bit, you know, boring. <laughs> to make it more interesting, you need to uh, go out and then try something new, learn new skills, new language ways, of, uh, new ways of using the language. Thank you for watching. See you in my next video. Oh, don't forget the show, English in the Garden. Thank you for watching.